Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, an open source work using uh, Jupyter Notebook and uh, Jupyter Text. So let me show you first uh, what uh, the final uh, product looks like. So we're going to create a book like this. Uh, you're going to have menus, you have source bar, you can uh, also have table contents. And within there, you can have, for example, source code, uh, you can have text, you can have also images, uh, all kind of stuff. So it's pretty easy and straightforward and it's free you can host it uh, the website on github for free and you also for example be able to uh, create it you can click the link uh, to open in collab and you can also navigate for example to uh, the github uh, repository if you want to see a more complete example you can go to the gmap uh, website gmap.org and then on the left side the menu click book and you can take a look at a more comprehensive example so you can have different chapters you can have different parts uh, you can also have different um, sub uh, sub parts basically different uh, different chapters and within there you can have text you can have images you can have uh, all kind of information so for example this would be the table content and when you click the table content uh, it's going to navigate to that uh, specific portion and uh, you can also have figures uh, you will be able to for example uh, uh, order the uh, figure number uh, by sequence so uh, you can also cite the figure for example here right if i click this figure it's going to navigate to here so within the text you can cite the figure uh, you will also be able to actually uh, cite references so for example figure you can also cite um, literature so for example take a look at this one i can just click uh, it will navigate to the references um, to, um, here at the end and um, so it's basically you can create a book uh, just like uh, you using other uh, other tools but this is open source and you can host it in github for uh, for free okay so this is kind of example and uh, let me show you how to get started so we're going to use a so-called cookie character you can go to my github uh, repository and then click uh, repositories and from there you can just search jupyter book hit enter you speed to find three uh, and repos uh, and what we need is this one so cookie cutter Jupyter the book uh, you uh, the link is also in the description so I basically uh, use kind of a, a, a fork the uh, original cookie cutter but I make some changes so it's much easier so it also integrated with uh, github actions allows you to actually automatically once you push changes to github the book will automatically deploy uh, using github pages so that you can host the book on github for uh, free and what you need to do uh, just follow instructions here i'm going to show you step by step uh, so that you can actually create a book and you host your your book uh, for yourself so first uh, is to install cookie character so make sure that the, uh, you have a python uh, installed in your computer and then i can open my terminal so what you need to do if you already have a conda environment you can just uh, activate uh, your contact environment so for example i have a contact environment named geo and then once you activate uh, you can just simply copy uh, and then open the terminal paste or oh, you need to uh, remove the, the dollar sign at the beginning and let me move this one to the left here right and take a look because i already installed it so let me clear the uh, uh, output and the next step uh, is this one so all you need is just copy this line, uh, copy, come back to here, paste, and it's going to ask you because uh, I already used this before, it already downloaded, but you can just simply press enter and it's going to create. So now uh, it's going to ask you uh, a bunch of information about the book. So this is where you can customize. I can just simply, for example, enter my name and the GitHub username. So make sure that if you want to post the book on github you need to make sure they use your github uh, user id and then the book title so i'm going to choose for example uh, geospatial uh, data science and hit enter so the the uh, the book uh, repo name uh, this one is up to you so by, by default it's going to use the uh, book title name but you can use whatever so this is the repo name later we're going to create on github so make sure that uh, they are the same so i'm going to use maybe uh, uh, jb demo right jupyter book demo so this is the name for the repo and then hit enter so 
uh, book directory uh, this one you can use xt4 or you can use chapters you can use book you can use whatever name uh, if you don't uh, change you just keep it xt4 next uh, is a sort description again this you can customize data but for now i will say for example uh, this is a cool book for uh, geospatial data science here we go. enter and then for the version uh, it's up to you you can point 001 or you can just uh, just leave as default you enter next one is the the license so it's up to you uh, you can choose the license or you can choose number six without a license and then you can add the license later i'm just going to accept the default next one uh, whether you want to use uh, github or GitLab uh, continuous integration so i assume that you are using uh, github so just enter and then select the default uh, branch name uh, you can either be master or it can be main so make sure that you check your github settings to see if your uh, master branch is named master or main so for my account uh, it's still master so i'm just going to press um, and uh, one and then that's it so now we have the book created so if you look at the uh, my downloads directory right so this is the one that i just created so now this is the directory uh, for my for the book so you can take a look at here uh, this is some of the chapters but uh, first we need to actually uh, install the packages and make sure that we have all the dependencies uh, to build the book so if you scroll down to the next step it's going to show you here create a content environment uh, since i already have so i don't need to create and so what you need to do actually is to install all the required dependencies so if you go open the directory and then open this requirements Look, txt is going to show you here there's a couple of those uh, uh, dependencies uh, if you already have that the profit if you don't uh, you can come back to here let me show you right so downloads and then cd uh, jb demo and then just simply pick install uh, hyphen r and then requirements txt also remember that if your jupyter notebook or the notebook examples that you are using uh, has additional packages then you can just add here uh, for example gmap leaf map or whatever packages that you are using uh, for your zoom in the novel you add here okay so for me i'm just going to set the default and then uh, press enter so it's going to install automatically all the uh, required dependencies for uh, for this book and you will see some uh, warnings here uh, you can ignore them it doesn't really uh, affect that so uh, once you have this then we're going to uh, build the book so keep it in mind here uh, we already entered the uh, JB demos directory, so we are going to use this command. But you need to change this one because uh, we uh, it's basically the current directory. So I can show you. It's going to be Jupyter uh, book and then build and then period. So press enter. Uh, take a look. It's going to automatically build the book. And once the book uh, is built, then you're going to see this one here uh, underscore build directory. So this is where the book uh, HTML or all the files are being uh, low, uh, stored. So you can just double click and this will be the HTML directory. This will be the location where the book will be hosted. So if you double click, uh, it's going to open and take a look. Now we have the book. Right? Uh, although it only has some simple like files, but I'm going to show you later uh, how you can add more content uh, to the file. So this is what it looks like. We're going to go goes to the uh, informations later but for now i'm going to show you how you can deploy this book uh, to github so they can host it for free and what you need to do is to go to your github account and you need to create um you first you need to create a, a repository so i'm going to click here and then new repository so from here i'm just going to use the same uh, name so jb demo okay and you can put a description for example this is a uh, Jupyter book demo okay and then public you can add other stuff but i i would recommend just keep all the empty and then create a repository okay so once you have this one uh, what we need to do is just to follow the commands in here and to link the repository to our uh, book directory so if you come back to here uh, this is what we have and so the next step is to actually push the changes uh, to GitHub. But 
uh, let's um, use the terminal here. So the first step we want to do actually is to uh, because this is a node right now, it's not a Git uh, repository, uh, not a, a, a GitHub repo, um, not a Git repo because it doesn't uh, have the dot Git uh, directory yet. So what you need to do, uh, you also need to make sure that your computer has Git installed, and then you can type the command Git init, hit enter. Uh, it's going to so, uh, master, and let me see here. Do we have this one or maybe let me uh, open using visual studio code and let's take a look git uh, init yeah or i think it's already in it yeah and once it's uh right now becomes a git uh, repository and take a look at here uh, if you open using visual studio code you should be see all the files right now are unchecked so what you need to do is to make uh, actually to commit the changes and but before we do that i want to uh, first add the remote so because right now uh, it's a git repository but it's not linked to the github uh, account yet so what you need to do uh, is just come here and control v and then control uh, uh press enter so now that means this one is linked to the github uh, repository so what we need to do here is to actually commit the changes so what i how we can do is on visual studio call and then just uh, for example init commit and then control enter it's going to commit all the changes and then just push this one uh to github uh it should be done for example it's finished and then uh, you can open here branches and click this one you navigate to your uh to your uh, github repo you see all these contents have been pushed to your account under this repository you will notice here this one that means it's being built so right now uh, the book is being built so take the actions uh, once it's finished that means your book is being converted to HTML uh, notice that all the files here uh, under this one is actually either a markdown or Jupyter notebook they're not really the book uh, it's not a website so what this one is doing here is the github actions is actually uh, execute build the book and then become an html if you want to double check you can take a look at here um dot github and then deploy dot yml so this is the one actually um build the book and you see there's not really it's not complicated so just basically install the packages and then build the book so this is the command used to build the book uh, just like i show you earlier so Jupyter uh, book view period so period means use the account directory because we already get into a directory and once you have that it's going to create a github pages branch and gh uh, and uh, hyphen uh, um, pages branch and then it's going to deploy so again let's come back here you see it's done and then what you need to do is going to go to settings pages and from here branch select github pages click save so the first time it might take a couple minutes to finish because it's also going to build and if you click the actions again you will see this one right now is being built so uh it might take two to three minutes uh depends on how complicated uh are your notebook but it should be pretty quick and once you have this one uh you should be able to uh enable uh you will see the uil um we come back this one uh let's wait for maybe uh couple seconds you see it's being built it's deploying and once it's uh, deployed then you see the url so take a look at this one url and we click boom so now you have the website right so it's under your account uh, your username dot github dot io and this will be the, the name of the repo so take a look so now we have the book we have the uh, the files everything is in here and if you need for example click upper right corner here you can because this is a notebook so you can actually open this one right click open directly on google collab so that users will be able to actually go through the content and actually to execute so take a look run and that means that now your book becomes uh interactive so it becomes a computational or interactive notebook that a user will be actually play with the book not just reading uh, state static content it's actually executable
Okay, so this is the basic example of how you uh, create a book using the uh, cookie cutter template and then uh, post changes to GitHub. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can actually add your own notebooks uh, because this is a sample example. If you want to create and add your own stuff, you can do that as well, right? So, but now if you go to open in Visual Studio Code, you can see under the book directory, there are a couple of files in here, right? So you have Markdown, you have uh, IPYMB, uh, different formats. So what we want to do, uh, let me show you a more complicated example. Assume that you already have some existing notebooks or markdowns and you want to add that one to this book. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, first, let me go to the uh, here, Google search engine. And let me see if I have any. Uh, I don't have this one. So for example, let me open um, uh, GMAP. So if you go to the GMAP website or the GitHub repository, here, gmap.org. So I'm just going to download a notebook example. Uh, just to show you how you can add that one to your repository or to your book so what i'm going to use is a workshop and then geopython 2021 and i'm going to click this one i'm going to download this one to my computer so uh, you can directly download to your repository and then the book so i'm going to save it in here i can maybe change the name to simple one g.ipymb and take a look so if you come back to um jupyter notebook a Visual Studio Code and you click now we have this notebooks uh, in here so since we, uh, once you have this notebook uh, we can add this one to the table content so if you click underscore uh, TOC this is where you can put all the files and so depends on where you want to put so this will be uh, you can use it as a chapter and then like this or you can have parts uh, parts means it's going to similar to um, to the G book that I showed you earlier. So again, let me show you here, right? Uh, book. So parts means you can have mul uh, multiple sections. So for example, uh, chapters and uh, appendix. Uh, and then within there, you have chapters. Or you can directly just have chapters, just like this one here. Uh, it's up to you. If you have a more complicated one, you can change that. So for now, I'm going to show you how you can add that one uh, to that to the uh, table content. So I just added the G.IPYMB. And then from here, can me control C, control V, and then G E, right? So that means I'm going to I'm going to put the the uh, the G E book chapters uh, as the first chapter, and then just control uh, S, and that means it's done. And next, I'm going to show you how you can do some configuration. So underscore config .yml. Uh, This is where you can change some of the book settings. For example, the uh, the book icon and some of the structure. So first. This is with the title of the book and uh, the name and copyright something like that. So if you want to change that, if you want to change the book logo, uh, this is where you can change that. So if you replace logo.png with another images uh, with the same file name, it's going to uh, have a new logo. So it will be the logo will be this one here, uh, upper left corner. This is logo. This is the book title, and this will be the name, your name and also copyright. So this. Uh, is even to change it you need to change in here so this is where you uh, change the content but i'm going to show you one particular uh, example is to change this one execute notebook so by default when your book is being built it's going to execute your notebook content so if you see from our notebook example right this is the notebook example and these are the other source code actually you'll also be able to see the output so it uh, depends on how complicated uh, your notebook is. Sometimes it might take a while to actually execute the source code. Uh, you don't want to do that. Then in that case, you can turn this one off. So it's up to you. So for me, I will just change the off, change it to off because the Google Earth Engine notebook might take a long time to actually to, to build. Once you have this one, and uh, you can take a look at other settings uh, if you want. But uh, for me, I will just rebuild the book. So opening uh, Visual Studio Code and then uh, again, uh, activate the Conda environment, and from there I can just uh, use Jupyter uh, book view, and then period enter. Uh, it should take a couple seconds. Okay, it's done, and come back to the book again. Uh, double click index.html, refresh. Okay, and on the left side, take a look introduction, and now we have these notebooks in here uh, added to the book, but 
the problem is that uh, the introduction actually come from uh, this heading so you need to make sure that you have a, a heading actually at the beginning level one headings this one is actually level two early earlier when the book is being built it actually shows you that okay this book are uh, non consecutive header level increase from zero to a two because we don't have a heading level one so what you can do click this one and so what you need to do simply is go to the uh, somewhere at the beginning and maybe i can delete this one and then just uh edit a level one so i say uh, google earth engine and then control s and then done and then what you need to do is just uh, upper uh, up arrow and then review the books so in that case so basically the table of content uh the the menu is going to come in from level one uh heading so now we have this and again refresh take a look so now we have google ascending and it's coming from actually this one and you also have the uh because inside your notebook you have multiple levels so you can also click this one you will be able to see you can navigate uh the contents and so the next step i want to show you is how you can add a table content to the beginning because uh, besides the one on the right you can actually add a table content uh, within the page uh, that might be very useful especially if you want to uh, create a pdf of the book because the pdf does not include um, the uh, menus on the right so you need to have to have one here inside uh, the notebook what you can do is like this let me go back to here i can under your uh, heading level one and once you have that you can simply uh, just add i think it's called this one here control uh, v so this will be the uh the, the tilde sign uh the the, the key on your keyboard so basically these three dots and then uh clear brackets contents and so again control s come back to here uh, uh also you need to re uh, review the book so every time we make changes uh you're going to see that you need to review the book and once you finish the book then you can refresh so come back to here refresh take a look right it's like magic now you have this table content automatically created uh, just using two lines by basically just a command it's called a, a, a directive basically it's something that you ask the jupyter no uh, jupyter book to do and if you click for example the type of content environment you see right if you click, click anywhere if you click again it's not going to go back to the original table content so this is how you can add the uh, table content pretty easily um, the next thing i'm going to show you is how you can uh, uh, make it more efficient but uh, before i do that i want to maybe quickly commit the changes so you can see uh, what, what what kind of things you can add back uh, to github and let me show you here uh, it looks like uh, when you make changes, it's also going to add the underscore build uh, to get that. But actually, you don't have to do that. You can just simply ignore that. So I'm going to show you here. Uh, doc, uh, where is it? You can create a doc git ignore. Um, so you can new file doc git ig n o r e n o r e Right. so from there you can actually exclude uh, exclude the view directory so what you need to do underscore view and then uh, backslash control s uh it's, it's going to exclude those files so next time it won't be it just still being view uh it's not be i'm not sure anyway so let me commit the change i think say add uh, gee notebook and then control enter think changes okay and if you come back to see the github uh, uh, repository it should be being built again so take a look at this one once it's finished building then you should be able to uh, look at the new uh, link so let me go to pages and i can copy the link and then come back to the um this uh, settings and from here i can paste my uh, URL here, save changes. And if you click this one, uh, it, it's still being built, so it's not coming out yet. But once this one is finished, uh, you will see the uh, pages build and deployment.
it might take a couple more uh, minutes okay so the next let me show you how you can write your book more quickly uh, because earlier I just show you an existing notebook uh, is pretty uh, straightforward but uh, if you want to write a book very quickly uh, notebook is not the way to write you should write it using markdown so markdown because you can uh, check the um, grammar, uh, grammar errors you can have uh, auto completion you can also use the github pilot so it's going to make you write the book much much faster and if you after you create a book if you take a look at this one jupiter text dot uh, t o m l and here i actually have some commands and this one actually shows you you can actually automatically uh, synchronize your ip uh, jupiter notebook with myst so myst yeah if you want to check it's basically uh, and kind of like a markdown but it's more it's a lot more features and it's integrated very well with Jupyter book so i'm going to show you how you can actually do that because uh, once you earlier once you install the requirements of txt we actually already installed this one called Jupyter text so basically Jupyter text and that allows you to actually uh, synchronize files uh, you're making for example i'm making changes to the markdown it's also going to change it to uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook. You make changes to the notebook, it's also being reflected on the Markdown. And what you need to do is actually to uh, open Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab. So go to the GitHub, uh, the Git repository, and then from there, um, you can uh, just type Jupyter. Uh, Jupyter, and then hit enter. And I'm going to show you how it is actually how it actually works, right? So make make sure that you need to open Jupyter Lab, otherwise it's not being synchronized. So if you open the book directory, right? So now I have this, uh, g dot i p y m b. So double double click, uh, it's going to open this one. So pay attention on the left side here. Right now it's nothing, uh, because it's not. If you, you need to make some changes, and then it's going to if you don't have markdown file is going to create for you so let me come here anywhere i can just maybe um just execute something and once you finish click the save button take a look on the left side here now we have this g.md right so if you take a look gnd right so automatically convert your uh automatically convert your uh, jupyter notebook to markdown and it works perfectly so once you have this one i can come back to here uh, i can actually make changes to this markdown and whatever changes i make will be automatically um reflected on the jupyter notebook so let me close this one and i can show you for example i can make some changes here i can say um this notebook and if you if you if you pay attention right you see right here you will get all the uh, 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 uh basically auto completion so those are actually based on uh, github pilots uh, if it works for you just hit tab boom it's done right so and then control s take a look so now basically we are writing using jupyter text and it's much faster if you're using jupyter notebook it's very slow and you might get all kind of uh, typos and those syntax errors and once you have this one and if you open the uh, the notebook uh you might let me see here um, let me come back to see one. This one, let me close. Uh, so if I open it again, take a look. So this notebook is a collection. Blah 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 blah. This is just the 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 text that I just added using Jupyter text, and it's it being reflected, uh, basically synchronized to the notebook immediately. And similarly, I can just um, if you need to create, for example, a lot of a uh, uh, code blocks. So in here, I can do it very quickly using jupyter text if you're doing double you need to create one by one but i can create this like very very quickly so let me show you right i can have this uh again this is only like one core block in here but i can just simply copy and then paste my paste oh i need to have the ending brackets here brackets here right and then eight control s right again and then come back to here it's already done so double click it is right so this is just i just created and then you can enter uh you can you can you can synchronize it if, if needed but this is how you can um 
write the book very quickly, you can also create um, um, notebook or code blocks very, very easy. And you can you can do the same thing for others. For so if you're using this one, if I let's say notebooks, right? So now if I make if I click save, it's going to create a markdown. So again, click now you see I have a markdown. If I um for the markdown, you can also control S, it's going to create a notebook. So pay attention on the left side, control S. Or oh, money to missing here. Control S. Oh this is uh Oh, this is a markdown so it uh myst i'm not quite sure why it doesn't work it's supposed to create a markdown anyway and once you have this you can just continue to write your book using uh markdown and uh, next a couple more things i want to show you is how you can um reference figures and text um uh, reference figures on your on your book so let me show you uh what you need is kind of some kind of a uh indexing so again let's take a look at the this notebook uh this book example so here i have a couple images and they, how about this let's take a look at this image right so this is an image you can actually add a figure caps, uh, caption to this image and then also in your text you can reference this one so what you need to do uh, let me use this one here uh where is it change space map without coding yeah so this one so basically uh, this would be the the images or the figures and what we can do actually is to create uh, a, a figure caption for this one and also later you can cite this one and it's kind of a bit different from uh, the traditional markdown well, what you need to do uh, is a format something like this so let me show you here control v control uh, uh, control x control v is here so look at this one so you want to have this three dots and then figure and this is where you have your figure uh, located so this one can be a, a image an image from your local computer uh, local uh, fire parts or it can be something from example directly from the url so let me copy this one just to show you uh, an example oops i think i just need to remove this one i can just uh, simply paste okay so you can just simply use an url and next is the name so the name means it, like what kind of name this is it needs this one needs to be a unique url uh so that uh, a unique a unique name so like later you can reference this one so let me show you here i'm going to use um uh let's say uh, gmail or whatever okay and this will be the figure caption so by default uh it's going to create a figure caption based on how many figures you have uh, so what you need to do right now just control s and let me view the book again and so take a look at the example uh, what kind of things uh, will be changed okay so this is the before let me refresh okay so now take a look we actually have a new one uh, kind of similar to the above but we have a figure caption for example uh, figure one blah 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 right and so later in your text if you want to reference this one uh, you can do it easily so i can come back to here let's say you have a figure in here and now we can delete this one because we no longer need it right and this is earlier somewhere or uh, in the text. Let me just anywhere here. I can say, okay, um, for more info, see. Uh, so traditionally, so you'll be just say, for example, figure one, but you don't want to do that because this is fixed. Uh, if later you add more figures, the figure sequence is going to change. So what you need to do actually is like this. So we're going to IEF. Um, so curly brackets and then here this and this will be the name so this will be the name of your figure so either uh figure one figure two whatever uh, so in here i will just say uh, g map and then s and uh so this is how you can reference the book but you there are two ways you can reference reference the uh the name or you can also reference the number so figure one so you're going to use figure one let me control c control v you'll be n u m so number reference and let's see what the difference is build the book again and now let's see the difference right so again uh, we add somewhere in here so refresh and uh here look at this one right so for more information see this one uh, by default if you use reference it's going to use the uh the title uh the figure caption but you can also use the figure uh, number so take a look if i click 
it's going to refer to this one and we click the same thing right so this is how you can um reference um a uh, uh, um um a figure in your uh, in your book but you certainly you can also reference um bibliography so if you have a, a text or anything yeah uh, if you have some papers you want to cite then you want to put somewhere here in the reference doc bib so this is where you can put uh, all the uh, references so you can uh, do a google search you can create your bibliography and then uh, you can do that for example you can cite the text uh, just like uh, let me see if i have an example here uh, just like this so uh, you'll be uh, cite and then uh, within here these two and be, be in between you can cite a specific user uh, so uh, basically the user uh, unique id from this one so this would be the unique id for each article so what you need to do is actually cite them so let me see uh, let me just for example co copy this one and then come back to the uh this example here i can say c and then uh, curly bracket cite and then like this and control s again view the book Come back to here take a look right so now you see this one see blah 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 and then if you click it's going to uh, navigate to your bibliography uh, page and now you can see this one right so you can, you can have multiple if you want you can just have a uh, have a comma so i can do here i think uh, comma and then if you have another one i can like this copy control v control s and then view the book again and refresh this will be in here where is it yeah here so now you see these two references are combined uh as one so this is how you can actually uh, do a reference okay and so the last step i'm going to show you is actually how you can convert uh the book to a pdf um so what you need to do is to um use uh let me see if i have example so it'll be something like this so let me show you here uh again i'm going to use this command line and but what you need to do is to make sure that you uh install the package so the package is called uh this one so uh, let me use the command line so maybe easier to look so like this uh control v so pip install uh pi p t so p y p p e t e r uh let me let me activate the contact environment here and install this one so make sure you install because uh in order to build the pdf you will need this package so once you have this then we it's like this you, you can type the command on um, jupyter book and build uh period so that means we're going to build the book uh, using the current directory and then what you need to do is to add a builder so this this builder and then pdf html uh, i'm going to put uh paste all the commands in the video description below so you can just copy and paste and then press enter and take a look it's going to build the book uh and your book will become a pdf and then you can directly open the pdf so again open the directory and then under the underscore view directory now you should be able to see the pdf and this is where you uh, see the content of the book right so you can see now you have all of this um and you can uh, you also have the table content right so you have automatically uh, generate a table content in here but i also have a table content based on each page of your each chapters of your book right so i can navigate i can click i can come back uh but you might notice that your book right now uh the um the source code code block is actually uh, it's different from this one uh the reason this is a bug of the jupyter book i have reported this one uh, a couple months ago but they still have not fixed it uh if you really want to have your code block like a line i would basically take the full page width uh you need to make some changes so here um what you can do is actually to change this one to to python so uh let me show you here you just control c and then come back here control v and what you need to do is to change to just simply uh and then python 
uh, in that case it will change but the problem is that once you have done this uh, your notebook will not be recognized as a separate code block so let me show you here in the Jupyter lab right now so take a look um, cancel uh, look at this one uh, let me refresh here uh, you will see it's uh, if you're using the code cell directive uh, your notebook you'll be able to see for example the code block but you make the changes uh, you won't be able to do that so let me show the changes first right so i convert this one right now this is also the same uh, python code block and so what i need to do uh, let's rebuild the book uh, see what it looks like so take a look uh, take a couple seconds and then we can open the pdf again to see what it looks like all right so this is the new pdf open and look at the code block again it should now be aligned very well so take a look uh, it takes the full width uh, so definitely it looks much better but the downside is that uh, this is good after you uh, join the book but you don't want to do that um, before you finish the book because once you have done that now if you open your uh, Jupyter notebook uh, you will not be able to execute the source code because everything right now becomes text take a look uh, so it, it's not working so you probably don't want to do that uh, you want maybe revert the changes uh, but this is only good if you really need to uh, if you really want to join a pdf then you can uh, make some temporal changes otherwise you'll be looking like this uh, your notebook is is not usable at all okay so uh, if you want let me come back to here and then you can revert the changes so control g so you, now you see this one and then control s so this is how you can um build a book uh and then export to a pdf again uh those are some of the uh things that you might want to pay attention to so if you want to write a book but i have personally uh personally found this very very useful and so what you really need is basically jupyter book and jupyter text and once you have those uh, you can write the book using um visual studio code and then uh with github and a lot of uh, extensions and uh, you're going to check the syntax and also typos and something like that but you can also have source code so if you need to execute you need to debug your source code then you open this one using jupyter lab so essentially you need to use visual studio code and also jupyter lab uh together so that it's automatically synchronized you make changes on visual studio code and then you can see the changes on uh, Jupyter that you make changes here uh, in the Jupyter notebook is going to also uh, reflect it back uh, in the um, uh, markdown so let me show you here for example let me open this notebook and assume that I make some changes for example I can add some source code maybe just the first page right and here I can for example import let's say pandas as pd right enter and then let me click save uh, override and now come back to um, the Visual Studio Code. Take a look. It's being synchronized uh, immediately, instantly. So now you can basically make changes back and forth. But make sure that at one time you're only changing one file and then you control S, you save the file. Otherwise, sometimes it will mess up and then uh, it might become more complicated. But in general, this is how I write um, the books. And once you have uh, figure out the uh the procedure you can streamline it will make your life uh, so much easier again if you want to join the content they also have the output uh, make sure that you turn on this one uh config and then the uh, execute this one to um auto then we your book will have all the figures automatically generated and in that way you don't have to insert those figures by yourself but sometimes the automatic output might not um um, be suitable for you then you can make changes so here like your figure one if you add another one it becomes figure two figure three and so it's automatic so you don't need to actually number the figures by yourself uh, everything is automatically being calculated by uh, Jupyter book okay uh i this is uh, quite a long uh, tutorial but i hope you find it useful and i would love to see how you can do uh, what kind of things you can do with uh, Jupyter book so um and that's all. If you have any questions, uh, leave the comments down below or you can reach out to me on uh, social media. Thank you very much. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.